my friends, the time has come. Not only has this season wrapped up, it has confirmed what everyone's been thinking is going to happen because Kotaro's voice actor at one point did say that the first season was pretty much only half of the story, though it was a fan translation, so you can never really trust that because it was an unofficial source. Moon and Terra is being adapted next January, like I predicted it was going to be a split core. This studio for visual novel adaptations are notorious for doing one season, then confirming a split core right after. And you can say what you want about this adaptation. Yes, they're obviously, you know, taking a bunch of content from individual arcs and storylines and not even giving enough in terms of the in your opinion things like that but as an anime only me watching this overall i am satisfied by what i got i felt for these characters you know 90 percent of the time i spent watching this anime i had a smile on my face i was feeling something and i could see this was something special and i know that when i play the visual novel after the moon and terror arc finishes next year i'm gonna get even more content in even more detail and that's amazing to me but the anime itself is honestly in my opinion good is it the best thing ever no it does it have flaws it has horrible animation flaws it has a lot of kind of rush to feelings flaws near the end of it but overall i understood the character's motives i understood what the salvation was i understood what it wanted to tell me and overall i'm satisfied by what i got through this and i'm so excited to see what the hell moon and terra brings because i took a look at episode one again to see what was happening and Kagri standing on the moon so that's gonna be interesting so we have Kagri at the end of the episode looking up at the moon in the poster she's on the moon going against Kodoro's hand there's a lot happening here and I mean there's a lot to discuss here I think a lot of anime owners are gonna be fucking confused at what happened here and I mean there's a lot of information and I'm sure I'm gonna get some of it wrong but from my understanding let's discuss what you know kind of went down but first things first Sakya Turns out he has a rewrite ability too. That's why, for one, he knew so much about it and could train Kodoro, but he actually rewrote so much he became a giant beast as Salvation was happening. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, that's starting to make sense. I understand why so many people were fascinated with Sakya now, because he literally has the same power as Kodoro, except he kind of abused it and became a giant ass beast. That was awesome. Like, that was seriously awesome. I love that so much. But we also learned why Kagari had such a fascination with Kodoro, why she kept sucking on his fingers. Back in the day when, you know, Mr. Kodoro was in a business suit looking like he was, I still think he was probably with Guardian at one point. I mean, some of the dialogue with the guy with the monocle kind of leads to my assumption that that was true, that he was with them originally. But when he lost his arm, Katori begged Kagari to save him and she gave her... A ribbon and that ribbon was infused into his arm and it saved him but at the cost of wielding her power which a human really can't do without burden so all along subconsciously Kagari has been visiting Kodoro sucking on his finger because the ribbon was infused in him and that's why they had a connection all along and also because of this whole thing and because of how he was saved he had a chance of becoming one of the familiars for Katori and you start seeing that happen where inside him he's becoming a plant monster and over the course of the episode he's literally becoming a beast watching that take place I was sitting here thinking okay I mean originally back in the day I thought he died and he was revived but I kept saying he was saved by her there's no ifs ands or buts he literally lost an arm there's no way but I did not see the ribbon being infused into his arm but that makes so much sense and all the subtle foreshadowing that was taking place throughout the entire season is amazing to me i love that that's why i love this series it throws so much information at you and when you go back and look you just smacking yourself in the face being like how did i not get this there's no way we could have got all of it but we can get these hints and i love that so much for that but like i mentioned the guy with the monocle i forget his name the one who's been taking after you know shizuru he made a lot of comments, you know, in the episode, kind of making me think that he was with Guardian at one point, especially because back in the day when he did get his arm cut off, he was in a suit. I mean, what kind of kid would be in a suit? And after all this happened, he obviously lost his memories and so did Kagari. So, I mean, there's still a lot of questions in terms of that that I have, and hopefully maybe in Moon and Terra that will be answered. But even if not, the main concept and or the main core has been answered i mean salvation was taking place if the key lives the entire world everyone on it will be pretty much it looks like turned back into energy and the world can start anew from scratch so the fact that we're getting moon and terra that leads me to believe that we're going to watch the world be reborn and kagre is for whatever reason on the moon i don't know but i did make 
a point, I don't know if this is right or not, but what if different planets and things like that had their own key? So what if, you know, Moon Cagre or whatever is a separate Cagre? That could be a point, you know, that could definitely happen. And I mean, overall, I'm just excited to see what happens. I'm going to avoid the wiki and all that kind of stuff, or visual novel, everything like that. I'm going to go into next season completely anime original again, and we're going to see what happens. But it was so damn good to see that. And just watching everyone kind of come to terms and just they're having their final closure moments. It was emotional. I have to say it didn't make me tear up or anything, but it gave me this kind of warm feeling of just sadness and kind of joy all in one because we knew this was going to happen. I mean, in the first opening, I pointed out a scene with Kodoro sitting on a school building, moss growing everywhere, and it looks like he was alone. And I said, it looks like a bad ending was going to take place where everyone dies. I didn't see everyone being reborn. That's something that happened. I mean, but then again, they may not be reborn, but I don't see any way around it because it is salvation. It's going to, re, you know, start the earth anew. But I do think we're going to see all these characters come back, just maybe with different personalities. Maybe it's a bit twisted like that. There's a lot they could do with it, and I'm excited to see what happens. We even get to see Akane go a little crazy, you know, saying everyone needs to die. And then that little girl, I forget her name, I think seems like she might be a sister or something like that to her i'm not exactly sure but she kind of snaps her out of it so before you know she's taken away she does have her humanity back which was a nice touch i thought but overall the entire episode i have to actually say the animation was pretty good besides saki as giant beast everything looked pretty damn smooth it was well animated it never really dropped i mean in terms of distance shots and the art quality it wasn't you know as highly polished as anything else really this season but it never made me kind of or like last week where i was just kind of disgusted by it it was actually, I thought, fairly well animated, and just everything was just, it felt emotional, it felt real. I love this episode, in all honesty, I think it's my favorite episode of Rewrite, ending on a high note in my opinion, and I know a lot of anime originals are going to be like, why the hell is everyone being sucked up in the air, what's going on? But I mean, this is what Salvation was, you know, if the key lives, the earth is going to be destroyed essentially and start it again. Or if you kill her, everyone on earth, you know, the earth's going to be destroyed, but I mean, the people on who's still living... They can live out their days until it happens, which could be probably a thousand years from now, similar to our world, right? So I love that whole dynamic, and I love seeing everyone get closure. This was a great episode, in my opinion. Honestly, this was a great episode to me. I know visual novel players are probably going to have their issues with it. They're still going to have issues with this adaptation, but the way I've always looked at any adaptation is you have to view it as its own entity. You can't really compare it. I like comparing like what's different in it. However, I can't look at something and be like, oh, well, so much more detail in visual novel. You're going to have 30 hours for each character in the visual novel. You only can have, if you're lucky, a, you know, 20, 26 episodes for an actual anime. So you have to do enough. And coming from an anime only... I felt that pretty much every character had enough time that I felt something for them, and I feel like they had their spotlight, and I feel like I got to know them, I got to get connected to them, I got to feel sad when I thought they died, and I got to feel pissed off when they came back. You know, everything about it I thought was good. Overall, I enjoyed this. I am going to be doing a series review for Season 1, probably in three weeks, because I have a video being released tomorrow, it's a discussion video, afterwards is a re-zero. And the next week is going to be what I call Season Roundup. It's a series I do where I take every anime I watch and I give a quick breakdown in my thoughts on them. The week after that, so probably second week, second or third week of October, there's going to be a Season 1 review of Rewrite where I go full in-depth, break down what's good, break down what's bad, give a whole rating. I mean, if you've never watched any of my series reviews, it, they're very in-depth. I'm, In my opinion, I do some of the best on YouTube for series reviews. So I will be doing that, so I'll be getting into all the nitty gritty, the good, the bad, everything in between, and my recommendation for just people who are thinking, should I watch this or not? But overall, I have to say, guys, I've had a blast talking about Rewrite, and the great thing is, Rewrite's not over. I will be playing the visual novel when Rewrite Plus gets released, however, if it gets released before the second season finishes... I will be waiting for the second season to finish. I love anime the most. I love watching and experiencing things first in the anime. And then if I really like it, I'll go back to the source to get more into it. And I'll definitely will for Rewrite, but I'm not going to do that till after the anime finishes if Rewrite Plus does get released before that, but I doubt that will happen. But I have to thank everyone who stuck by, came and left me a comment, even if you hated the episode. I always appreciated you guys leaving a comment, letting me know your thoughts, discussing with me, theory crafting. Loved it all. There's a couple of times where people were getting a little too spoilery, but I mean, it's the internet. It's going to happen. But overall, I have to say I had a blast. This was the most fun series I had talking about each week 
in terms of everything that I've been reviewing. I had a blast and it's all thanks to you guys for sharing the videos around, commenting, hitting that like button. It all means a lot and next year we're gonna be having more and next season's looking amazing. I'll have a video up on what I'm gonna be reviewing and talking about next season, probably next week, early next week. There's not a lot I have to do. I'm gonna play catch up to get ahead on some of my weekly videos. Besides that, I'll have a video if you guys are interested on what I'm gonna be watching and reviewing. But there's a lot coming out and also i mean i will have that season one review of rewrite up within a few weeks so stay tuned for that as well but thank you all for all of the support and as always one last time hit that like button if you enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel subscribe for more content like this as there's always more content coming and until next time everyone please take care and have a good one